Hello everyone, welcome back to AAS Publishing. And we are continuing in the series about the corridors uh, that the AAS publishes in. And this one is on the solar system, exoplanets, and astrobiology. So this is the uh, logo for this corridor. I think the interpretation of this one is, is pretty straightforward. <laughs> uh, the Bohr atom, <laughs> no, <laughs> solar system. Uh, exoplanets and astrobiology, uh, which is on the bling that I'm wearing today. This is the, uh, my AAS badge from the last AAS 235 in Hawaii, uh, where you can come and come on down to the floor, visit AAS Publishing. You can pick up some of these pins, uh, wear them, hang on to them. They'll be collector's items in 15 years, sell them for thousands of dollars on eBay um, as we go. So the solar system. So this corridor is headed up by Michael Endel. Uh, Michael obtained his degrees uh, at, in the University of Vienna, uh, and for his PhD thesis, he received a graduate fellowship to work at ESO, and as part of his thesis work, he helped to discover the first exoplanet, a Jupiter-type planet, uh, in the habitable zone of a sun-like star. After completion of his doctoral thesis, he joined uh, University of Texas at Austin, where he is now a senior researcher and lecturer. And his main scientific interests are the detection and characterization of potentially habitable planets that we might be able to search for uh, biosignatures in the near future. So that's a little bit about Michael uh, as he heads up this corridor. So this corridor includes articles on exoplanets and solar system objects, including moons uh, and minor bodies within those solar systems. So topics include the physics of planet formation, uh, the dynamics of planetary systems, including celestial mechanics and astrobiology. So just a brief word on celestial mechanics. Uh, the celestial mechanics uh, in the IAU uh, is, is found in Division A, and it's its own um, topical corridor, but it is not represented by its own corridor in the AAS journals. That is subsumed within this corridor of uh, solar systems, exoplanets, and astrobiology. And we'll get back to that uh, in a little bit here. But this is one of the exceptions where we differ in the corridors than from the IAU. So the division between AJ and APJ primarily depend on whether the content of the article is primarily observational or theoretical. And then following a long-standing tradition, um, articles in Celestial Mechanics are usually published in AJ. So we did a video series on AJ and even the very first uh, volume of AJ had articles on Celestial Mechanics and some of the editors of AJ have been uh, Celestial Mechanics Mechanicists. <laughs> anyway, long-standing tradition of publishing Celestial Mechanics in AJ and so that's where they go uh, and not have their own corridor. So articles in astrobiology are also normally published in the AJ. Uh, and we do have a new journal, Planetary Science Journal, and that will, first articles should be coming out here in uh, about a week or two, so circa mid-March 2020. And the dia interplay between this corridor and the new Planetary Science Journal is a TBD. We'll see how that develops and goes. Um, I am. So that's what I had to say on this corridor of the AAS journals, and I'll see you on the next one. Thanks. Bye-bye.